what if type 2 diabetes is not a sugar problem, but an iron problem? Iron metabolism is definitely dysregulated in someone who is metabolically challenged. This often manifests as shortages in the circulation and key tissues, such as the heart, while at the same time, iron excess impacts the functioning and health of other organs. The pancreas and the liver are especially vulnerable. It's the free iron inside the cells that is the problem, because, well, iron does chemistry. It's meant to be helpful, but can be downright harmful when the iron is not being managed properly. There are ways to go after the iron pharmacologically. This is what iron chelators do. The problem is, for the most part, the iron that they go after is the iron on the outside. But this is not the problem iron. Free iron inside the cells is creating the drama. And this free iron inside cells is largely untouchable. Well, it has been up until now, but some very clever chemistry has created an option to target inside iron, not just outside iron. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we meet the new iron chelators, which have been shown to cure insulin resistance, in rodents at least. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, that clever chemistry is based on the idea of a push-pull reaction. And it involves a tweak to a widely used iron chelator known as desferioxamine, or DFO for short. Now, the problem with DFO is it's the wrong shape. It doesn't readily cross cell membranes, so it doesn't get inside cells. But if you stick something onto the DFO, you can change its shape. Binding zinc ions turns it into a little ball. And as a ball, it's able to get inside cells. Now, the zinc ions are happy to hitch a ride on DFO into the cells. But once they get inside, it's playtime. They hop off and free iron ions hop on. The iron-loaded DFO retains the ball shape and is able to exit the cell, taking the troublemaking iron with it. Now, these newfangled DFO molecules are referred to as zygosids. And here comes the interesting part. Treating diabetic sand rats with zygosids cured them of type 2 diabetes. This is seen here. Two doses were used. Treatment began after the animals had sugar levels in the diabetic range. And quick as a flash, sugar levels returned to normal. So did insulin levels. In fact, in approximately 30 days, the animals went from being insulin resistant, with a HOMA IR score around 70, to insulin sensitive. This is impressive. To put it in perspective, bariatric surgery, which also cures type 2 diabetes in inverted commas, takes months to improve insulin sensitivity. So, hmm, let's put zygosids in the water. Mm, not so fast. The research team are working on testing its efficacy and safety in humans and dreaming that it will be the answer. They're currently here. It will be years before we know one way or the other. And unfortunately, the first go at giving it to humans hit a major snag, which has sent the drug developers back to the drawing board. But no worries. This is science you can use 
today. Because this research suggests that inside iron is very much part of the pathology of type 2 diabetes. Now, iron's biology is complicated and nuanced, but it is a lever you can pull. You want to ensure you have enough iron to do the things, but not too much iron. Getting too much iron is something that can easily happen if you supplement with iron. Anytime you supplement with iron when you don't really need it, it's not a wise precaution. It's a potential health liability. Need a little help figuring things out? Well, let's talk. There are tons of resources on the Better Body Chemistry blog that will help you get started on your journey to creating better body chemistry and better health. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Here's the Zygocyte Journal article if you want to study up on the topic. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference.